Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. My name is Meredith and I am so happy to have you today. We are going to be finally decorating my house for spring. I am so excited to be doing this. I have waited so long to film this for you guys. I hope that today this video provides you with tons of spring home decor inspiration and gets you excited for warmer weather and lots of flowers. Um, if you enjoy these types of videos, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to tell me that you enjoy it. And if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe below. Let's go ahead and jump right in. starting decorating today in my living room this is the heart of my home other than the kitchen and this fireplace is the biggest focal point of the room so I always like to start there with decorating first I am using these floral picks from I got some at Michaels Hobby Lobby and AC more to get all the colors that I wanted and if you saw my winter undecorate video then you saw how I did this for Christmas with the holly berries and all the different Christmas floral picks so I'm doing the same thing here at spring it's a really inexpensive way to make a non wood burning fireplace really pop <music> video I'm going to do an overview of all of the things that I am using to decorate with and where I got them from so you definitely want to stick around to the end to see where I purchased some of these amazing finds from video please don't forget to hit the like button and head on over to Instagram and follow me on there if you enjoy these kinds of videos I post tons of cleaning motivation and lots of home decor updates throughout the week So this little floral arrangement I'm making here cost me less than $5. If you saw my haul video, then you saw that these vases were $2.50 and then the floral picks that went in them were less than $2 a piece. I was able to create this stunning arrangement for less than $5, way cheaper than anything that you could find already done at HomeGoods. So a few of these pieces that you're gonna see me use here were actually given to me by my mom. These were some home decor pieces that we had in our house growing up and then I just added a couple of new finds to it to just really liven up the space and make it look fresh.
yes, I am filling a pot with potting soil on my kitchen table. It was way too cold this day to go outside, so this was the easiest way to do it. I already had this little plant and the pot, so I was so happy to find that it fit perfectly. I just added a little bit of potting soil around the edge, and it looks so cute. And here is the final look at my mantle and fireplace area. I am so happy with how this turned out. Most of the things that are on here I actually have had in previous years. The little bunny on the left hand side was actually my mom's. Um, another one of those uh, hand-me-downs that just works perfectly with my space. The little carrot I found at AC Moore along with the Easter eggs and I'm a little bit of a mix between Easter and spring. I love having some Easter touches in but then with spring decor I can leave it out for the whole season and I don't have to touch a thing. Over on this side I have some more of those Easter eggs, my less than five dollar floral arrangement that I made and this sweet little bird that actually lights up. Uh, I think I got this last year or the year before at AC Moore, so I'm not sure if they still have it there. And then the sign here that says, you are my home and my adventure all at once was actually a gift. I'm also so happy with how the fireplace area turned out. I think it looks really beautiful. On the day that I was filming, it was very sunny outside and I just love how all of the colors really pop against the back of the fireplace, which I painted black. So this spring garland here is a Target dollar spot find. I actually think I've had this for maybe three or four years. I remember having it in my apartment when I used to live in the city. And then this lantern here was $7 at AC Moore. The AC Moore near me is shutting down. Um, I don't know if it is everywhere, but all of their stuff was 70% off on the day that I went shopping. And so I just love how this lantern could be changed out for any season. I just put some LED candles in and some more of those floral picks and Easter eggs, and it looks super springy. So this wreath on my door was my front door wreath last year and I'm going to be getting a new one this year because I just love the way that this looks here with the sunlight coming through it. I think fresh looking flowers, even if they're fake flowers, just really make a home feel more like spring. Um, these little floral straws here I also found at the Target dollar spot. They are a perfect addition to my bar cart and then just some really fun, bright, colorful napkins uh, really makes the space. Moving on to my kitchen area, this cake stand I got at Home Goods along with my Ray Dunn mug. Comment below if you are a fan of Ray Dunn. I know I'm obsessed. And then this floral arrangement I made again for under $5 with the items that I found at Michael's. And then that picture in the back I just leaned up against and that one was from Hobby Lobby.
decided to keep my bathroom really simple by using the Ray Dunn soap dispenser that I found at Home Goods, and then this cute little bunny rabbit I've actually had since I was a little girl and I just thought it fit perfectly. And then this tissue dispenser is another Home Goods find. I've had it for a couple of years now. Over on the wall here, I decided to use this sweet hello sign that I think is also another Target dollar spot find. And I've had that for a couple of years. I think it really brightens up the bathroom along with my shower curtain. sign is a Hobby Lobby find and then of course all of this home decor here for the most part was a hand-me-down from my mom except for the watering can and the bunny which are both home goods finds. This is going to conclude today's spring decorate with me video. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Got tons of spring motivation to decorate your home in your own style. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys really soon in a brand new video. Bye guys.